Thanks so much for joining us here back on the channel as we cover Tesla tech and everything in between. If you haven't yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button, click the bell and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. So today what I wanted to talk about was maintenance. My Tesla, as you can see, still in at the service center, having its paint and dent sorted. Bit disappointingly still in there three weeks later and I don't think they've yet started on it. Uh, expecting an update later this week but still in this model s a courtesy car from them uh, which is proven very nice to drive actually i've given it a wash uh, and that really got me thinking about maintenance and what maintenance is required you might be thinking with an ev and in particular with a tesla so today's video is going to be all about the maintenance required if you're thinking about getting into a tesla so stick with the video so Tesla tell us, actually, your Tesla doesn't really need a lot of maintenance at all. And that really is one of the great things about getting into a Tesla, or really, to be fair, many EVs on the market in 2021 too. Uh, in fact, Tesla tell you all you need to do is really be servicing this as needed. And what do they mean by that? So well, there are certain checks that you do need to be doing on a daily, weekly, and indeed monthly and annual basis. And we'll go through all those right now for you. Tesla tell you that monthly you should be keeping an eye on your windscreen washer fluid and topping that up. All you need to do is find the blue windscreen washer fluid lid, remove that, make sure it's clean around it, top it up and replace the cap. As easy as that. Your fluid reservoirs are all underneath the maintenance panel. And all you've got to do is pull that out, it lifts out quite neatly and unclips in order to access these parts of the car. You've got your emergency cut off for your battery in the event of a collision or a fire. You just clip there that's for the emergency services to deal with but also you've got access to your fluid reservoirs up here as well uh, with the brake fluid being here and you can just monitor that you shouldn't need tesla tell you to do anything with it all you need to do is make sure it's topped up tesla in fact tell you not to top up your brake fluid yourself really they tell you that what you should be doing is contacting a registered service engineer either at tesla or an independent so what did Tesla tell you you need to check on a daily basis? Well, daily you need to check your battery levels. Obviously, you want to make sure that you can get from A to B with plenty of battery. Keep an eye on it. Make sure it's not depreciating at exorbitant rates. Uh, and obviously, if it, you do notice uh, some degradation over the expected with your battery, then you need to be reporting that to Tesla under the warranty. So what else do they tell you that you need to do doing? Well, daily you need to check the condition of your tires, make sure there's plenty of tread on there, and also check the pressures are accurate for your Tesla. Somewhere between 41 and 42 PSI is what you can expect to need to have. If you need a reference though for your tire pressures, they're situated here on the yellow sticker on the inside of the driver's door panel. The other thing Tesla recommend you do is regularly rotate your tires, particularly every 10,000 kilometers or where the tread depth difference between the two is 1.5 millimeter or greater. And of course, for maximum road grip, you should be having at least three millimeters of tread on all your tires. And if it gets below those, then you really need to be looking at getting your tires changed. The other thing that Tesla recommend you do is that you carry a puncture repair kit. Tesla sell a roadside puncture repair kit for you to pump into your tires. There are other brands out there such as Holtz uh, and uh, I don't know and I haven't seen feedback actually as whether the Holtz one is as good as the Tesla one or whether actually using the non-Tesla one prevents you having your tire repaired long term. So please let me know in the comments below if you've had experience of the Tesla one or the non-standard uh, off-the-shelf version uh, that you can get from other manufacturers i'd really love to hear from you on that so please let me know the other things that tesla say you should be checking each day are the horn that works that your turn signals work and that your wiper blades are working as well <laughs> and of course your washer fluid that seems to work absolutely fine the other thing they tell you to do is check the operation of all your seat belts and make sure they're working fine each day as well. Those are some of the very simple things that Tesla advise that you check on a daily basis. So what about some of the bigger things that they suggest that you check on a more infrequent basis? Tesla suggests is that you clean and lubricate the brake calipers at least every 12 and a half thousand miles or in areas with high grit and salt contents on the roads in winter, but maybe you clean them annually in any case. The other thing you'll have noticed when cleaning your Tesla is that the arms to the wiper blades are actually uh, prevented from opening up fully when you're cleaning the car 
by the overhang of a bonnet lid. Well, actually, there is a method in which you can actually access these wiper blades and both clean under them properly and service them or replace them if required. And here's how you do it. So in order to do this, all you need to do is go into your vehicle menu, go into controls, quick controls here, service and wiper blade service here and select that. That then moves the windscreen wipers to a set position, as you can see here. So once you've got your car into wiper service mode, it actually elongates the arms to the wipers up onto the windscreen, allowing for much easier access to both clean and replace the blades as you need to. Once you've done what you need to with your wiper blades, all you've got to do is go back to the car's computer and turn the wiper service mode off just like this. And it's as easy as that. So that really is as easy as it is. Pretty much maintenance free other than charging it, making sure your wiper fluid is topped up and of course, maintaining those wiper blades and keeping the tire pressure up. Of course, annually, as we said, you want to be checking those brake calipers are both clean and well lubricated, particularly in our climate here in the UK, lots of road grit and salt on the roads in the winter periods. And of course, with the regeneration braking, you're not using those brakes as often, so they're not naturally clearing as they would on other cars. That just about wraps it up for this week's video. I hope you found it useful. I hope it's reassured some of you who are thinking about getting into a Tesla who were maybe umming and ahhing and not really sure about what the long-term maintenance required is for a Tesla. Well, hopefully that has answered your questions. As always, if you've enjoyed the video and found it useful, please give us a thumbs up, drop some comments below. I love getting back to you. And as always, please consider hitting the subscribe as it always helps me build the profile of the channel. As always, thanks for watching and take care. You and I, we were meant to be. Feel it in my soul Feel it in my soul Never separated you and me Broken made whole Broken made whole The world that tries to steal
We were made We were made for each other